Hello everyone, welcome to Oracle Admin 1 on Linux. In this tutorial, we will discuss about parameter file. So, let's go. Initialization parameter files. Two types of parameter files. Number one, SP file or server parameter file or init file. The SP or server parameter file is a file that is read by database server and then the instance will be created. Allows to change parameter value for shared full, large full database buffer cache without restarting database server means that changes meet in database open mode. Containing data in binary format, file format SP then SID dot or extension P file containing data in text format if any change is made in P file then must restart the database server for its effect can be created by SP file or vice versa format SP file is ID dot or a here actually p file sid.ora note these two files containing same content but content data format is different if you have two types of file first priority is sp file or server file to create the database instance now all i have to do here the possible connections of Oracle. So this uh, connection is for sys user. So you can connect with uh, sys user on your end. Just uh, here. Now we will check parameter file by using the command show parameter sp file or show parameter p file. You can use any of them. So if I execute the snippet, here the result sp file, here the type string and its value, and this is the sp file name. If I execute this p file for uh, show parameter, then see we can see the sp file sp file name. Is, uh, location and it's also location so in this way we can set the parameter file for sp and p file note if value is not blank the file location and file name with sp indicates database instance is started with sp file else with P file locate P file remove P file and create P file by SP file connect Oracle user by 2G and change directory to here it is the Oracle user so I just want to uh, change the directory by using this snippet CD Oracle home slash DBS. After hitting on enter key, you can see the directory has been changed. So if I see the list of files ls las slash here we can see in the sp file. This is init dba167. This is the SID and then aura. So this is the sp file log uh, sp file list in uh, Oracle home directory. Now, first we will need to have uh, to delete the in a, uh, SP file from this uh, home directory of DBS. Now you will have to do uh, run the statement. Actually, this one is. If I execute this snippet, here we can see 
the this file for SP file removed successfully. So if I see again the uh, previous one ls less, here we can see the uh, free file removed from this location. So we do not have uh, any if uh, p file in our uh, Oracle DB home directory. So now we will create the p file from SP file because we already have p file. So this is the statement create p file from SP file. So if I execute this query snippet, here we can see file created. So if we go back to uh, Oracle DB Home uh, DBS directory and here search here we can see the deleted or removed uh, init file or FP file removed so this is the uh, uh, use case for in, in this way we can create the P file from XP file now we will open the uh, init db167.org file in vi mode so let's go vi night or uh, after hitting an enter key we can see the database instance create uh, parameters here this is the address tns uh, uh, listener address actually so this is the um, host name host address and this is port tcp and uh, others information we can see here this is the uh, max dispatcher shared uh, servers and many more information here this is the db name actually now we will check the server control config database config by uh, config database for SP file. So this is server control config database. This is our database name. So after hitting on enter key, you can see the possible informations of um, config file for database. So this is the SP file location. This is home location and many more. If SP file is not available from this uh, location, error will occur on starting that instance. Let's see the another example. Let's shut down the database instance. We need to connect with CS here. CS SQL plus slash CS CR shut down immediate to stop the database server. Shut down in progress. Yeah, database closed, then database dismounted, and then shut down. This is uh, those are uh, all shut down process or steps. Oracle instance shut down. So our shutdown completed. So now we will remove the uh, SP file from uh, grid user. So first we need to go grid user. So this is the grid user panel. So I just want to go inside the um, SMCMD. SMCMD. LS. Here you can see data. So CD data ls here you can see db name cd this one ls here we can see parameter file so lcd parameter file 
ls here we can see only one sv file so if we remove this one rm our file remove so if i see ls no uh, parameter uh, does not exist in this directory so now we will uh, now we will start uh, in the database so here it is start up here we can see the database instance created successfully or started successfully so how it is possible one thing is remember we don't have any s3 file so how to start up the instance of a database answer is by using the p file because we deleted the s3 file from the asmcmd location so in this way the p file um, start in, can be used to start the um, instance of a database without sp file but if you have both two file p file and sp file the priority is sp file and the instance of a database will be started by using this sp file let's see the sp file in our location so show parameter then sp here we can see the no entry or value for sp file because we don't have any sp file let's restart server instance again shut down immediate database is now on shutdown so now we will change the directory for p file. So we need to go uh, Oracle user actually. So this is the Oracle user. So cd. This is the uh, GB home directory or Oracle home directory. So here we can see no such file or directory found. So this is the directory. So if I uh, click and uh, enter on uh, enter key and see here, we can see ls minus ls. Here we can see the uh, if I so if we change the name of the p file in b the file name and then changed file name after hitting on enter key now check here we can see the file name is changed with underscore now restart the instance start up mm, we need to connect with the cc user actually so this is cc user so now we will start start off error processing system parameter here is here is the message so in instance will not start it without sp and p file at least one file must have exist in our Oracle system rename p file again we need to exit from sql flash it clear and then this is the uh, home directory and here we can see the file uh, 
Yeah. So let's uh, let's check. Here we can see the file p file location. So I just want to change this one. M A. Then. Ora. After getting an enter key, you can see ls plus here the p file original name. Now we will try to start up the database. Start up. Uh, now we need to uh, connect with C user actually. Okay. Start up. Let's see our Oracle instance started. Now check the ESP file parameter. CL, SCR, so uh, metra is the file. Here we can see we do not have any SP file here. This means that we do not have uh, P file. So, but we will have a SP file. So, we can create the SP file from P file. Let's create SP file from P file. Create SP file. This is the directory from P file. After hitting on enter key, we can see file created. If we execute this one, here we can see. Now we will check uh, the ASM CMD from grid user. So ls, here we can see the SP file created successfully, but p file not present. If we check again, so Metra is P file actually P file. Here we can see the value is empty. So our SP file is present, but P file not uh, showing in uh, this query snippet by using this query snippet. Now we will start the instance or database by using startup source. Startup course now check the sp file p file so parameter um, parameter p file here we can see the sp file of p file Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Keep watching the next tutorial. Thanks.